What is going on everybody? We just found a deal on this 2023 Ford Travel Realm presidential series that only has 3,600 miles on it. This coach just became available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $799,999. And the new 2024 Ford Travel Realm presidentials have an MSRP of about $1.65 and I think you could probably negotiate them down to about 1.2 million on a new 2024. So this coach is a smoking deal to have a 2023 with only 3,600 miles below $800,000. From the exterior design to the interior design, this is a coach that's definitely worth checking out. And this coach is definitely specced with the right color combination with the silvers, blues, and grays, and a lot of intricate details detail work in this paint scheme. And I have to mention the style of this paint scheme is totally different than what we've seen in the past. They're doing away with the swoops and swirls like a lot of you have recommended. And this coach is loaded with features, some stuff that I've never seen before. So I'm really excited to take you on a tour of this coach. And this coach is on the Spartan K4 chassis with the Cummins 605, 20,000 pound towing capacity and all kinds of equipment. It does have the chrome bag door handles and let's open all these bays up here first bay is going to be a manual slide tray I've talked about it before I prefer the manual over the power tray myself with the nor cold cooler nice little spot to store a cold beverage and as we're going around this coach I have to point out the paint colors there's a blue metallic really rich color and then you have some marbling going on in this grayish color gray metallic stripe a heavy silver metallic really a stunning paint scheme bay two is going to be a full pack pass through bay with the power slide tray and we can see some extra dinette chairs are being stored in this bay right now here's a little sneak preview of the interior colors such a beautiful interior and you can just tell how high end these dinette chairs are if you need a little assistance loading and unloading things it does have this little tailgate that swings down so here we have the samsung tv with the sound bar and here is a remote for the big gerard awnings it's got the large patio awnings and one of the nice things about this door is it is a little bit taller so it's a little bit more difficult to reach but they do put this pull handle here to bring that down and with this door swinging up that will keep glare off of that TV screen bay 2 is going to be another full pass through bay with another full slide tray and when we look inside of these bays you can see all of the structure of that Spartan K4 chassis and you can see everything is lined with carpet and only having 3,600 miles on this coach. Everything is definitely in excellent condition. So this next bay is going to be the other side of the Aqua Hot Bay. You've got a little bit of storage here, your Dirt Devil Central Vac, a lot of your electric components are all housed very neatly. You can see that Mach 5 Headhunter water pump back there by the Aqua Hot, your Xantrax inverters. And here's the other side of the plumbing bay. You can see the manifold system and then behind this is going to house the holding tanks and as we're going around the coach you'll notice these Bendix blind spot detection systems this coach does have a blind spot detection system collision avoidance lots of safety features it has the fire suppression system the Tyron tire bands come standard on the steer tires up front in case you were to have a blowout it helps keep the rig more stable there's a lot of stuff that for travel does with safety in mind like this emergency egress door back here and we'll try that out when we tour the inside. Just a beautiful styling here on the Presidential Series. Just a little slight fade here in the back of the paint job. You can see that 360 camera up top there. And so then you can see back here, here's that fire suppression system that I was telling you about. Lots of little details where they're thinking ahead. And you can see you have easy access to your belts and 605 horsepower back here. And then your 20,000 pound hitch. 
So this is a side radiator coach, and then they have a little uh, door here to store your sewer hose. And I love how Four Travel finishes out this plumbing bay. Very clean, very sleek looking. You have a little touch panel here to monitor your tank levels, your chassis batteries. You have a little outside station, your tank flush valve. You have a little spot to put soap uh, to shower off out here. And this actually comes out if you wanna wash the dog or take an outside shower. Nice to have this. And then there's outlets here in your plumbing bay as well. In this bay, we have the power 50 amp cord reel, as well as your power hose reel for your city water connection, the AquaHot 600D. That's the more heavier duty AquaHot than you're gonna see in a lot of the other motorhomes. Also your HWH system for your slide rooms, and these slide rooms really come out nicely. Then here's the other side of that full pass-through bay. This will come out both ways, all by the press of a button. Up front here, we've got the other side of the full pass through bay, and then there is a power washer mounted here with the power washer wand. Definitely a nice feature to have to help keep the coach clean while you're on the road. And then up front is the house battery bank. Everything is super fresh in this coach. And then I don't know if you can see it from out here, but I wanna point out the lights around the window. There's so much cool accent lighting that's not turned on right now or that you can't see in the daytime, but when you light this coach up at night, it's got such a cool look. And you can see just a beautiful front end with lots of little details like the presidential series badging. And then the 12.5 Onan generator is gonna be housed back there. And even the paint scheme comes into the front. You can see these sharp pinstripes coming down, really sets it off nicely. And then I was talking about lighting. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like the infinity style lighting that we can see peeking through the window right now. But really the interior of this coach is one of the most stylish coaches coaches on the road. So let's put these slide rooms out and take a look inside. As you can see, 4Travel does a great job finishing out the interior. And first thing I wanna point out is this, I believe they call it like infinity style lighting, really sets off the tone inside of this coach. A very modern, futuristic, definitely does not feel like that old motorhome feel. And there's lots of cool features that I'm finding in this coach that I wanna show you. Starting in the cockpit up here, I'm noticing lots of little features, like you can control your day and night shades here from your steering wheel. Wheel. There's also a camera on and off button. And then you can also control your steering wheel, your wiper blades. I love that carbon fiber feel. This being on the Spartan K4 chassis, it's a very robust chassis. It has an extremely smooth ride. With this large digital dash up there, you can really see what's going on well. It's got the 360 cameras, a tire pressure monitoring system, as I mentioned before, collision mitigation, blind spot detection, and those Tyron tire bands to help keep you safe. Lots of little creature comforts like the USB ports right here. You have your HWH leveling system, your gear selector for your Allison 4000 transmission. That's the bigger transmission to go with that X15 Cummins. And here you have a nice simple control to manage your display up there. Very high end, almost like a BMW style feel to scroll through your different menus. And then you have your rear view mirror controls, simple air conditioning controls. Just just pulling this coach around the parking lot here really is smooth riding coach. I'm a big fan of how this coach drives. This is an air ride seat. You can adjust everything here. It is heated and cooled as well as massaging seats all easily accessible right here. And then there's a huge TV up front here. We can just press a button and bring that down. It's moving very quickly as well. I like that. Another TV on a televator over here, all by the press of a button. And it's very quiet, I don't hear any binding. And that's a huge TV as well. Now, typically this is gonna be your patio side, so you do have that big window behind the TV, but when that Samsung comes up, it gives it a totally different look. Then we have a nice size booth here with this beautiful solid surface countertop. And this is in the extended position right now, but we can move this in. With this extra seat here, just gives you a little more seating. and then and we can easily slide this out. There's a little latch right here. And there is another leaf 
that goes back here there just to give more seating. I've really got to tip my hat to the designer. I really like what they did with the color design in here. You have the cream color diamond stitching with the two-toned, almost like a gray style leather. But over here on the booth, they flip-flopped it and they're using the gray style leather for the larger surfaces, but then that cream color piping there just to set it off and tie everything in the coach together. And then with these gray color cabinets, just a really nice feeling inside of this coach. And I also want to point out, this does have the flat floors here. Beautiful tile work here with the wood inlay. This is a drop floor when the slide room comes in and out, but you could barely see where that slide room starts and stops because of the way they did the tile work. And we also have these cool little ottomans right here. Again, going with that two-tone look. This can be turned over there with the two cup holders so it can be used as a little more of a coffee table or if you want to store some blankets and stuff here to keep handy in your living room. So if you need a little spot to set something while you're dining, you could always flip this over and just have a couple little extra cup holders. Or if you had a fifth wheel here, it'd be a nice little spot to just sit here. So then we can also extend these out. There is more storage below there, but if you want to utilize this space for more seating or maybe even like a foot rest, if you want to kick back, really nice setup for that to make this a comfortable living area. Coming into the galley, it does have this large touch pad here where you can control your blind shades, heated floors, generator, lighting, as well as many other things. And then it will charge there on that launch port. It does have a Bosch microwave and really nice style on the cabinets, all lined with carpet. Beautiful backsplash with those blue tiles, just a nice little blue accent to tie in those exterior colors. And then you can see this second level of countertop space with that wood accent and then the lighting below the countertop. There is a sink cover here with that same solid surface. Beautiful matte black sink that ties everything together well. Very high-end faucet here. Cover for your induction cooktop here. And then if you need a little more countertop space while you're cooking here, it does have this little drawer that is locked into place but I can just press this button and it will unlock that. And then now you have extra countertop space and then more drawer space below that. And you can see the multiple levels here with this sliding drawer just to really utilize that space. I'm not seeing a dishwasher in this coach. I know a lot of RVers out there prefer not to have a dishwasher. Instead, you've got this very large deep drawer for pots and pans or whatever you need. And then more storage here below your sink. Coming across to the other side of the galley, you have a Bosch residential refrigerator as well as more pantry space here. And then you can see outlets back here that will pop up if you want to plug in a coffee maker, pull out pantry storage if you want to put some of your Keurig K-cups or whatever you need, coffee grounds. And then below that little coffee station, you have nice deep drawers utilizing all this space for storage. And then your Bosch residential refrigerator, all super clean. I believe Bosch is German made. And then it's got this little clip right here to hold it in place while it's going down the road. If you still need more storage coming into the middle of the coach, you can see these large pull-out pantry drawers, very high-end construction. When you open and close these, you can really feel that quality. And this coach is like brand new. I can still smell how new everything is when I'm opening all of these cabinets. Again, more storage here with adjustable shelving. A lot of your electronic components are housed in this closet, but then more storage overhead. And this is a bath and a half coach with a nice inlay on your wood door. And when we open and close all of these doors, again, you know, just very solid construction, but a nice little touch there to bring in some of those exterior colors inside of the coach. Very large half bathroom beautiful backsplash of different tile than we've seen. Nice size medicine cabinet. I like the black hardware that they use in the half bathroom. And then you have a window as well as a vent with a fan. And then some of your climate control and breakers are housed back here as well. I like to point out that piano hinge there, just way overbuilt. And in the middle of the coach, you're going to see these little digital touch panels. They cleaned up all of the light switches and these black touch pads have a much cleaner look than the light switches everywhere. But also they just added this cabinet door here 
just to tuck away this panel that you can control your heated floors, your climate control, your locks, your generator, check your batteries, check your tank levels, control lighting, and then you have your slide room controls as well for the HWH slides. It's nice they just tuck those away so you don't have to look at them. Coming back to the rear bedroom here, this is what this coach is all about. You've got a king size bed. Again, that really cool lighting here in the bedroom, just give it such a cool look. And I've got to point out just the headboard here, a very rich, modern, contemporary style. Then you have windows on both sides of your bed, as well as outlets and USB ports and a little bit of countertop space. And then in your overhead cabinets, there are outlets with a little spot there if you didn't need to run a cord for a CPAP machine. And that is on both sides of the bed. And I have to point out just all of the cool little indirect lighting that 4Travel does around these slide room faces. Lots of lighting in this coach, really set it off nicely. And then you'll even notice, you know, the wall panels. You've got tile work in the bedroom, up half of the bedroom wall on both walls, as well as a nice texture here with a nice little mirror there. And then here in the bedroom, you've got wardrobe on both sides of your TV with a televator, with that hanging bar that is downlit, all lined with carpet and then drawer space here and wardrobe on both sides. And this is just a, a nice little spot to have hanging space here in your bedroom, separated for his and her setup. And I really like when that hanging bar is downlit. It really helps you see your outfit when you're going to pick that out. And there's no carpet on the slide room. You can see they brought these tile floors here onto the slide as well. One of the biggest highlights of this coach is the rear bathroom. This rear bathroom is like an entire room in itself. You have a lot of space if you're getting ready, lots of elbow room here, a full length mirror if you want to check out your outfit. It does have the Bosch washer and dryer and I like it that they kept it consistent with the Bosch appliances throughout the coach. And then you have more closet space here, a safe tucked in your closet, the dual hanging space, again that downlit closet bar, and then these little storage cubbies here for shoes. There's that additional leaf for your dinette, but a very large closet here and then you have dual sinks I love the light color countertops with the dark glass sink and then the multiple layers of countertop with a nice tile backsplash and then your split medicine cabinets with the little pull-out pantry in the middle and this is cool that it has this divider so when you pull this out you actually have a little bit of storage on both sides making sure that your space gets divvied up nice and equally here for a couple this is something cool too just the style of these faucets the water pump isn't turned on right now but just the way the water comes out of them really cool styling and then there's another little storage cabinet here all lined with carpet just utilizing that space and just beautiful cabinets I like this gray barn wood style this shower is one of the highlights of this coach beautiful tile work you can take a seat back here relax does not feel like we're in a motorhome at all right now and then we've got the water closet here nice little room for your toilet plenty of room around here again that piano hinge and then you have an emergency egress door and I want to show you how easy you can get out here I just flipped this lock switch here that will open right up Boom, so easy. And I'm being extra careful just because I don't want to scratch this coach, but that was super easy. Boom. And then that just folds right back up. I'm gonna pop this panel back in place, then I'll meet you guys up front. If you are in the market for a late model luxury motor coach, this 2023 Four Travel Realm Presidential Series is available for $799,999 here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. Serious and qualified buyers can contact Bradley Twait. I greatly appreciate all of you subscribing to the channel. We hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you.